Welcome back to Top Choice Movies Recap. Today, I will show you a 2014 American erotic thriller drama film titled Addicted. Over to you, Thames. Zoe Reynard has the perfect life with her husband Jason and two children and is the CEO of her own company, which signs and develops aspiring artists. One evening she attends an art show of Quentin Canosa. The two meet and share some flirtation. Zoe later visits his apartment to discuss a contract. And the two end up having sex. Zoe feels immense guilt. And tries to end it with Quentin. They break up regularly. But always inevitably end up getting back together. On one particular occasion, when Zoe goes to get back with Quentin, she finds him having sex with his neighbor. Throughout the film, Zoe is telling this story as a flashback to her psychotherapist, Dr. Marcella Spencer, who after diagnosing her with sex addiction, assumes it might have been something from Zoe's past that keeps coming back to haunt her and pressures her to confess. However, each time her psychotherapist asks, Zoe avoids the question and walks out. Zoe's addiction begins to take over her life. She soon begins sleeping with a second man, Corey, whom she met at a club. One day, when she comes home from work, she finds Corey at her home talking to her mother. Seeing the danger she had put her family in, Zoe decides that she wants to try to fix her marriage with Jason. She invites both Corey and Quentin to meet her at Quentin's apartment and breaks up with both of them. Corey becomes angry and lunges at her, but Quentin blocks him. As Corey leaves, Quentin knocks him out with a vase. Zoe becomes afraid of Quentin and tries to calm him down. Quentin tells her that she is not going to leave him. Frightened, Zoe shoves glass artwork between them, smashing it to pieces. She then hides from Quentin who is chasing her with a knife. Suddenly Jason appears and smashes a sculpture over Quentin's head. Jason reveals he found out about Zoe cheating via her cell phone. Zoe runs after Jason, apologizing profusely, but he rejects her. Out of desperation, Zoe walks in front of a car, injuring herself. The two split up, and Jason stays in a hotel. Zoe becomes a recluse, but soon goes to a sex addiction group therapy session. It is discovered that the root of Zoe's addiction was because of a rape committed by three boys when she was 10 years old. At the session, she speaks of her deep love for her husband, and Jason walks in, kisses her and accepts her back. Thanks for watching. Please like and comment, and don't forget to subscribe.